Hi guys, hope you're all okay today. It's a food haul video because, you know, they go up every Sunday. Um, I've been to Sainsbury's this week. This came to £84.86p. I had one substitution, one item sent back, one freebie. The item I sent back actually wasn't even per selected by me, it was selected by the delivery driver. I'd ordered some carrot and swede mash and um, he said, I've just noticed that this is broken. Um, and it wasn't like a little split, it was like broken and there was stuff in the mash. So I was like, I'll arrange for that to be refunded to you. I was like, thanks. But yeah, um, new delivery driver. I've not had this chat before. He was really friendly, um, really good with the boys. He has three greyhounds, so I'm like, you get me. Um, yeah. And he was telling me that he's having a Christmas wedding. He's getting married at Christmas to his uh, girlfriend or fiancé. And I was like, it was just really friendly and approachable. And yeah. And then he ruined it by asking me for ID. <laughs> I don't really know why. Um, it just came up. It must, maybe it happens randomly on their handsets, but it came up on his little computer thing saying that um, he needed to prove that I was over 25. I'm like, dude, I'm over 30. He very kindly said I didn't look it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure why he needed ID or if the computer system just randomly asks for that um, because there's like no alcohol, no, no items ordered that you need ID for. Like a 14 year old could go and buy all of this. So I knew you do need to be 18 to have home delivery though. But yeah, weird, but that happened. So yeah, good delivery, happy chap. I'm gonna show you the stuff. Just had a thought. So I need to do a disclaimer before I show this because even though food hauls are my most interactive video, I do get a lot of hate off the back of these. You know, people telling me I'm gonna get fat again or I am getting fat or, you know, you should make more from scratch. You should be a vegan. You should buy waste free. You should buy local, blah, 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 blah. There are no, it's all white carbs in your shopping. A lot of people that watch these hate me. Like, why hate me if you, why watch me if you hate me? Anyway, um, but for the people that don't hate me but are actually just interested in stuff, uh, there isn't a whole lot of veg. Basically, in the week, there was um, a farmer's market near where I work and I picked up a load of veggies from there. They were all local and organic and came in stupid paper bags. Like, I say stupid paper bags because it was pouring with rain and obviously they all got saturated. And I ended up buying a plastic bag to put them all in. But... That is why there is very little veg here, because I bought it locally from a farmer's market. Okay, now I'm going to show you the groceries. There is a quick overview. Again, not put the dishes away. Right, let's jump right in. I'll start with this week's freebie. I've not had a freebie in a while. Giant box of cereal. This is the Quaker's Kids OT Mix-Up Chocolate Flavour Cereal. Now, delis deliciously crunchy animal shapes and OT clusters. And there's like a teddy bear and an elephant. And is that a squirrel? I think it's a squirrel. Now, yeah, you could have the chocolate flavour or the strawberry flavour. These, I think, are two pounds, but I say at the moment they're doing them for free at Sainsbury's. Um, the strawberry one had no reviews. The chocolate one said, had some reviews, but said it's a very fake chocolate flavour. Well, I'm like, hello, it's cereal. It's not going to taste like dairy milk. But yeah, thought we'd give that a go. Behind that, I've got some of the Sainsbury's own brand um, dry shampoo, which I quite enjoy. I've got some Listerine mouthwash. And some lady female hygiene stuff. Because, you know, that's happening soon. Um, Diet Dr Pepper. Two bottles of Diet Pepsi. Caffeine free. Um, oh, we had to get dog food this week. Uh, we normally get... So we got a multi-pack of the Natro dog food. It comes in, like, different flavours. There's vegetables, minerals. 
um, and it's all good for Darwin's tummy. Darwin is a lot more sensitive than Gilly um, to different things, uh, so we have to be a bit more... We can't just buy any old stuff. We have to be careful for Darwin, and we just feed Gilly the same because it can't... The stuff we give Darwin can't hurt Gilly, but like if we got him some stuff that isn't suitable, it could hurt Darwin. Does that make sense? So yeah, a little bit of a mix-up. We normally get our dog food from Amazon, and we just it just didn't happen this week. So little trip. To Sorry guys. Sorry guys. I don't know what happened there. My uh, stuff turned it. I can't speak today. The camera turned itself off. But yeah, so got this one from Sainsbury's. It's good. The boys have had it before. It doesn't hurt Darwin's tummy. So happy with it. Um, we've got some milk. Four pints of uh, skimmed red milk. John requested Braeburn apples this week. He's been having like nectarine and peaches for his like fruit snack to have at work. But he requested Braeburns for a bit of a change. I've got some chicken stock cubes. I've got some of these again. I really like these. I tried them. I had them a couple of weeks ago. They're really nice. They're really low in calories. 55 calories per pot. Light and free. Cherry flavour. They're good. Um, we have some of these for our lunch today. Just the plain folded flatbreads. Both me and John really like those. Um, I'm so, still super into these pikelets. I gotta gotta say, I prefer the Marks and Spencers ones. I think these go a bit more crispy in a toaster, whereas the Sainsbury um the Marks and Spencers ones keep their fluff. They're be like a fluffy and lighter. But they're still good. I really like them. I'm having them almost every day for my breakfast at work. So yeah, I got two packs of pikelets. Then, we've not had this in a while, I've got some katsu curry sauce, ambrosia light custard, it's from Devon, but you know, we can get over that. Um, <laughs> I'm in such a silly mood today, um, but yeah, some custard, we've got some reduced sugar salt baked beans, we've got some of the Heinz Creations Mexican beans, I like make chilli with this, I really like it. We got some Dalek Butts coffee. This is just the refill pack, so you just chuck this in the jar you've already got. I don't know if this packaging is recyclable though, but yeah, just a coffee refill. Bread and butter pudding. I love this stuff. Like, I love, like, obviously I'd prefer the full fat version, but this is yummy. Then we got a little punnet of grapes. I've moved to having the little ones rather than the big ones because I just. We finish them like if you eat a lot of grapes i do think technically financially it's better to buy the bigger pack but that only works if you eat them all you know what i mean so yeah some grapes more of these i'm buying like multiple packs of this stuff a week we've also been giving the boys calming tablets um to help with their anxiety when the fireworks have been going off because you know egypt set them off all the blimmin time where we live um, so the boys have half of one of these each with their calming tablets. But I also like to put them on the pikelets. But Darwin and Gilly have been eating quite a few of these lately. Then I've got a little salad bowl. It's only a quid this one. It's quite good. And then we've got the coconut raspberry loaf cake. Now you might remember, if you pay a lot of attention to these hauls, Last We've ordered this for the last few weeks. Last week it was substituted for a different um, coconut and raspberry cake and I didn't like it. It just tasted funny. This is definitely the better one. And this is the cheaper one. The other one's more expensive. It just, like this one has chunks of whole raspberry in it and the other one had like a, a layer of raspberry jam. So in my opinion, much superior and cheaper than the other one. I got some mushrooms. I thought I had ordered two of these, but there's only one, I think. So, error on my part. Pizza. So, in the week, John and I had a mad dash to Sainsbury's. Basically, I got out of work over an hour late due to a client appointment going terribly wrong. Um, so, we nipped to Sainsbury's and we got one of these. Uh, this is the Taste of Difference wood-fired prosciutto. Um, mushroom. It's basically a ham and cheese pizza, but it 
beautiful it's just lovely um it's like four pound fifty which isn't like obviously if you went to domino's you'd pay a lot more for a pizza but you can get a much cheaper pizza in a supermarket however it's beautiful it's such a nice pizza so i was like yeah we're gonna have me one of these so got that um we've got some low-fat wraps <laughs> it's like yes i'm gonna eat all the pizza oh look low-fat wraps <laughs> um we've got some taste difference blue eggs i really like these they are yummy they are more expensive than like the normal free range eggs we get but um one night this week i'm going to do breakfast for dinner if that makes sense to you and the yolks on these are beautiful um i got two of these log bones for darwin and gilly they like those um i got some fiber one popcorn bars great for afternoon snacks and then the go ahead apple ones also great for afternoon snacks um i got some broccoli apparently did you know there is a bit of a broccoli shortage in the UK at the moment due to bad broccoli season. The farmer at the farmer's market told me that. Because they didn't have any broccoli. <laughs> um, some milk chocolate mini rice cakes. Obviously salted pretzels because I'm addicted. Um, we've got some organic bananas and some reduced fat coleslaw. Um, oh, did I? get two baked beans did we not already have a tin of beans hang on oh, oh yeah yeah there's beans there oh fail <laughs> i don't i ordered two tins of beans this week oops um good job it sits in the cupboard forever uh i got some grated cheddar i got two packs of the cauliflower rice one is to go with katsu curry. The other, I'm going to attempt to do a risotto for it. Now, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos about making risotto with cauliflower rather than rice. I'm not sure. I'm going to give it a go. But I'm not 100% sure it's going to work. Um, I got some kettle salted crisps. John really likes those. We got some cocktail sausages for darwin and gilly they have these in their breakfast this was my only substitution of the week this is i ordered prawns they sent me taste i ordered king prawns and they've substituted it for taste the different canadian prawns but they are definitely smaller than the ones that i normally have i got some chorizo two packs of um, yeah, do I really like this? I'm not gonna lie, I can just sit and eat a whole pack like that. Heck sausages, we get the 97% pork um, meat ones. There's some low fat bacon under there. We've got some chicken thighs, some lean mince. They didn't have, we've been buying organic mince for a while. I just, the not necessary, we started doing organic because of the IVF thing, however. Um, I do really enjoy the flavour. I just think possibly the mints we've been buying has been of a higher standard. Um, but they didn't have any online this week. So I just bought the 5% beef mints. And then frozen chicken fillets. Basically, that's for the night we eat the pizza. We're going to have chicken nuggets, coleslaw, pizza. Because why not? Bird's eye chicken grill, char grills good for when you need something quick really not something we have that often i've probably got half a pack of this in the freezer but i fancied some hash browns so having those and then a bag of the bird's eye sunshine mix and that is this week's groceries i'm in such a silly mood today i think it's because it's my day off and after i put the shopping away i'm going to attempt christmas crafts um, but yes, so that is this week's groceries. I had a couple of comments on last week's food haul. Or no, the week before's food haul. Um, a couple of people said that I looked like I'd been losing weight. Um, I have to admit, I have started calorie counting again. Just because, obviously, we all gain weight at Christmas. Or I do. 
and obviously in January we are in January we are planning to have um, our FET frozen embryo transfer. So I would like the plan is if I lose a bit of weight now and then I gain a little bit of weight at Christmas, I'll even out by January. Does that make sense? So yeah, I have started up um, another Instagram account because not everybody's into the whole weight loss thing. You know, I have a lot of ladies that aren't into that. Um, so I didn't really want to put it on my Katie Beach anymore. So I started up another Instagram account, which is um, counting underscore calories underscore Katie. Really imaginative, I know. Um, yeah, and I'm just like, all I talk about is like food and weight loss over there. Feel free to follow if you're interested. That's it really. Um, yeah, I best put all of the frozen bits away because I have been rambling a lot today. Yeah, I hope you've had a good day. I hope everything is good with you and where you are. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.